principally what they're doing is stopping themselves being taken out of a vertical. Yeah. But then it's, it's a defense of a vertical plane. Yeah. So it's very easy if you think about wrestling to just think, oh, the sprawl is just to stop the guy taking you backwards. Right? So, you know, pulling your legs from under you. Whereas with the shoulder roll, it's pulling your shoulders over the top to the point you tip. But the sprawl does the same thing. It attempts to allow you to go straight back up. It certainly tries to kill it from, if you think about it. So they, they try and stay straight back up and then run around the back. So they're still in gait. They're still running. They're still on their feet. But the problem with the sprawl is, <coughs> So we're here. Yeah, so, so do a sprawl then. Yeah. So there's your sprawl. There's your sprawl. Right? So which way is the sprawl stopping? Big clue. Look at which foot's a big fucking stand. Right? So it stops him being going that way. Right? But it doesn't mean that as I start maneuvering, he can't go that way. The sprawl puts all the weight and everything on that side in an attempt to stop, effectively, that shoulder coming forward. The foot stops it, so it's just like combat base. It's just a long combat base. But there's still the opportunity to take him that way. So if you're, if you're not able to move that way, well then you just try and maintain your space. Everything goes inside. So if I can't lift him, we defend the middle. So you do the sprawl, whatever, yeah. To go on start your sprawl, finish your pass, finish your dog pass. You go. Now that's an exaggerated version because you just kept forcing it, but what I'm doing here is it's like the stack pass. You start stack passing me, go, I don't ever let you put your hand to the mat on this corner. But now I make you shoulder roll. And you might scramble back and not see the shoulder roll and rip your arm out, but I don't let you finish your pass. So even there, it's like, I'm gonna see if I can, if I can't easily make shoulder, dominate the middle keep the hands here. And when the guy tries to finish to put his hand on the opposite side, oh, I'm going to make your shoulder roll. Yeah? So you're trying to pass my guard, the legs are kind of gone, so you come in this way, go, finish the pass. Finish the pass. Yeah, now you're switching. Right, so now, <laughs> right, so, so now I'm, I'm going to make your shoulder roll this way. Constant threat shoulder roll. If, you, if I feel it's not easy to make the shot roll, I try to defend the middle. I go back to stuff like this, and then your arm comes because <coughs> you need to finish, and then I stuff your arm back under itself. Do you see what I mean? The pass is never finished until the other second. The pass is never finished until, until I pretty much get that or that. I need to pin that far shoulder. So if you have your arms like this, and you don't let me underhook, and you don't let me do anything here. I can try and finish the pass, but everything you want to do, uh, particularly one like this, is to push my arm that way. Right. Now I, I struggle to, to stop myself rolling the moment you connect to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is just everywhere. We call it rolling for a reason. But... <laughs> Very many people have realised that it's about rolling and stopping them roll, and that's basically it. Sprawls and combat-based stop rolls. Um, let's go again.